uh, to Umkomas, where two police officers have appeared in court on charges related to murder. Today, they appeared for the murder of Mlungisi Butelezi and Tlonipo Nzimande. Now, the accused are also implicated in the murder of an ANC councillor, Victor Molefe. Community members were outside court uh, there to support the families of the victims. The NCA senior reporter Desen Thathia was also in court today. He joins us now. Um, you know, Desen, this is an extremely worrying case because we're, we're looking at two police officers um, potentially involved in murder. And this is not murder in the line of duty. All these cases, we understand, are appearing, uh, being brought to court separately, uh, but there are links. So talk to me about what happened in court today. Well, Sal, I think uh, at first we must separate these cases. So today's court appearance was in relation to Nzamande and Butelezi, those murders that took place on August 23rd. So that happened on the same day, one of those in the early morning, the, the, the other one later on in the day. And again, these two police officers, Maendran Chetty and Tandukolo Pelako, implicated in those murders. Uh, I understand they are both sergeants at the Umkumas SAPS, and they according to the accounts from, from the family members and the community members that we spoke to at court today, they say that uh, particularly in the case of the 2 a.m. shooting, they heard voices. That was the Inzamande case. They heard voices. They heard uh, a door being knocked down. And not long after that, they heard shots being fired. And that's when it's believed that that murder took place. So lots of community support, people coming out to to get answers because interestingly one of those police officers is also known to that community and grew up there and also was familiar with the the victims in this case the other matter relating to the counselor victor molefe as well as zita tele that's the other woman that was killed that's a separate matter that is being dealt with at the port shepston court and that's happening on Friday, but I can tell you that uh, the family is both the families rather are both fearful and distraught after learning that this is well a police officers and b it's also someone that is known to them that is linked to these to these cases. Let's uh, listen to what the NPA had to say to us about uh, this particular matter. The men appeared today in the Scottborough Magistrates Court. They face charges of murder, conspiracy to commit murder robbery with aggravating circumstances, as well as charges of unlawful possession of firearm and ammunition. The matter was remanded to the 25th of November for further investigations as well as a bail application. They are also charged with two counts of murder in the Pochepson Magistrates Court. That matter returns to court on Friday. It was previously remanded for an attorney. All right, so we, we've got a situation where we've got two cops uh, in the dock charged with a uh, four murders uh, in two separate incidents. One in the, you know, the Scott Pro matter was in court today. The Port Shepston matter is coming through uh, later this month. I mean, this is astonishing. So, I mean, are we talking about, um, you know, immediately one asks, what could the possible motive be? And it's so very difficult, obviously, to speculate at this point. I mean, are we looking potentially at a situation of hired guns uh, and the cops carried out a killing for someone, possible revenge attack? Um, I know you've spoken to the community. Uh, did they give you any clues? Well, you know, nothing can be ruled out at this stage in the investigation. It is quite early. But if you look at it in this sense, effectively, those that arrested these police officers, that would have been the political task team of the SAPS, they effectively arrested their colleagues. So it wonders how difficult the task must be if you also uh, have to count your own as possible suspects in matters like this. That's also something that then concerned the community because they look to these people to keep them safe, especially in that area. And they, uh, the, the community that we're talking about they rely on the Umkumar's SAPS, and that's where these officers hail from. So right now, while we don't know what the motive may necessarily be, what I can tell you is that although the cases are separate, there is certainly a link because Molife, as well as Nzemande and Butelezi, were friends. And in fact, they grew up together and they lived in the same community. So that's certainly a link there. The only reason why the other matter is happening in Port Shepson is because at the time of his murder, Molife was visiting his girlfriend and that's where he was shot dead. But we also did get an opportunity, as you said, to speak to the families. Let's listen to parts of those interviews now. 
Nguazi Uti, Baban Gongos and Jenna Poise, Babesins and Mapoisa, then Babatina Sabin Ganilin in Kani, go Baba Bashai, I'm a bit like that in several times. Nguazi, your foot to Uta, like Alangam to Ula, but Alibam Shire, Babesins and Lanumiganja and again, go Baba Ilimele, Jenny's in Dowsers Pugil is like, yeah, so. I'm shocked because one of the police of Vilela, he was his friend. He was his friend. I think he's the one who knocked. He knocked and then he, my brother opened the door. Because he trusted him? Yes. Yeah, so obviously we're at the early stages. Um, it has to be proven in court. We have to understand what any possible motive might have been. But at a time when the police uh, are not trusted by their community, um, it, is, it is very worrying indeed to see two police officers uh, standing trial um, on charges of murder. Thank you so much for bringing us uh, that story. That, of course, is Desen Vathia.